811, everybody, and talk show queen Wendy Williams went from talking about hot topics to becoming the hot topic herself following this weekend's Lifetime docuseries, which painted a disturbing picture of the former host. Yeah, fans have taken to social media to express their concern about Wendy's mental state, and now some of her celebrity friends are fighting to protect her legacy. It's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. That Wendy Williams that everybody loves, her TV show was number one for like 14 years in a row, uh, is in there somewhere, right? But what's sad is how somebody could make you look like you're unfit or you don't have the mentality, almost like Britney Spears, where they take your empire. So Fat Joe filled in as a guest host while Wendy was undergoing treatment in 2021. This morning, we're joined by another guest host who frequented the Wendy Williams show, Steve Wilkos, who also has a lot to say about what he saw over the weekend. So, Steve, good to see you. Thanks for taking the time this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, Steve, you're not only a fan, but a friend of Wendy Williams, right? I mean, we, we saw the documentary. It is disturbing, to say the least, and some of the things that were put into the documentary. When was the last time you actually spoke to Wendy herself? And do you have any indication that things were as bad as they were portrayed in the documentary? Well, first of all, I, I had a lot of contact with Wendy over the years. Um, we're, we're about the same age. She invited me to a birthday party mm -hmm. and, you know, things like that. So we, we had a nice personal relationship uh, off camera, too. And uh, the last time I was on her show, um, I was a guest and we were sitting on the couch and I remember her talking to me, and she wasn't the typical Wendy Williams. She was missing a beat. Uh, she seemed a little forgetful. And this is, you know, this is probably about uh, four or five years ago, and I thought something was off then. Um, and now to watch this documentary, whoever greenlit this thing, uh, really, I, I, I don't know for what reason, because I think about the time uh, when I was at my lowest and struggling with things and, uh, I can't imagine a camera crew following me around, uh, filming me uh, at, you know, my lowest depths of my life, you know. And that's what we're doing with Wendy. Uh, it doesn't put her in a good light. She's obviously got some uh, mental uh, issues going on, uh, some medical problems, some addiction problems. And to, you know, show her interacting with people while she's undergoing these things, which is not the typical Wendy, not the Wendy that most of us all know and love, Mm -hmm. um, I, I just think it does, does a terrible disservice to Wendy. Yeah, I mean, they showed video when you knew that she didn't think that they were going to air some of that stuff. So do you feel like the producers they're, basically exploited her? Of course. I mean, they're, they're filming her sleeping. I yeah. mean, what is the, you know, looking like she's passed out or whatever. Um, listen, I, 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 Wendy's, uh, she is a big star, and she obviously has people the that, you know, drivers and assistants and all these people, well, I think it's, in my opinion, in their benefit that she does things like this because I got I got to imagine not working for a few years, having all these mm -hmm. people around, that's a huge financial strain. So there's mm -hmm. people that probably have motivation for her to do things like this. But, um, you know, when the, the, that's not the one that you see on the show. And, you know, I hear people saying, oh, it's karma because of what she did on her show. It's a job, man, just like entertainment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people criticize me the way sometimes I yell at my guests or whatever. I'm like, it's a show and it's entertainment. And when I go home, that's not who I am. And, you know, a large part of Wendy is she's, if you ever talk to her uh, away from her show, even on the show, she's a lovely person. Yeah, she criticizes and whatever. But she's not being mean or trying to be hurtful. And, um, and this is very mean and hurtful to mm -hmm. her. Uh, just... To see, and then to show all her medical problems, like they're showing her feet and everything. And I say, what is the purpose of that? Right. Yeah, the feet, her without her wigs, which she loved so much, right? She talked about those wigs on her show oftentimes. You know, she's under the care, Steve, of this legal guardian, right? And her family wants to regain control. What, you say she needs to be protected. So what do you think she would want in this situation? Well, I think, I think Wendy likes being in control herself, but um, obviously I, I do think that sh there should be some in control. Now, I don't know what's going on. Um, obviously, this did go before a judge, and he ruled that he thought that somebody who I think in her family uh, was, you know, taking money out of uh, her account, the Wells Fargo's put a stop to it. So I, I think there's a lot of things in there that we don't know. 
um, and there was the decision made to give her a legal guardian. Um, but I, I, I think that if Wendy could, you know, not drink for a while, and uh, you know, obviously if Evan Schultz says she's been in a, a facility, I, I would hope that she gets back to a point where she can take control of her own life again. Um, but I certainly would think that you know her sister would would yeah. at the very least be uh, qualified to be her guardian mm -hmm. um, or her brother. Uh, you know, they when just watching the show, they seem like really nice home people that really love their sister. So I, I mean, I would. I would hope that one of those two would be able to be her legal guardian. Yeah, if you had a chance to talk to her right now, what would you say? Oh, I would love to talk to Wendy right now. I reached out, uh, you know, about a year ago uh, because I haven't heard from her. And, I, you know, you just can't get a hold of her, which, I mean, I, I think if you're going to do this documentary, let people talk to her, but maybe they don't. I really don't. But I, I would just tell Wendy, uh, you know, I struggled with alcohol for a time being, um, and I haven't had a drink in over six years and I would probably just share with her my experiences and how much I care for her and how that there is light on the other side once you mm -hmm. get through that um yeah I, I would basically just tell her about you know because I went through rough patches in my life and uh, I'm just glad there wasn't a camera following me around but I, I would like to talk to her about those Steve I appreciate you taking the time out of taping your show to talk to us this morning uh we're all praying for Wendy so appreciate your uh, your expertise here thank you all right and you